So let's talk about determining the magnitude of a vector. So let's say I want to plot this two-dimensional vector on this graph here at the origin. So what I'm going to do is draw an x component over to 3, because that's what we see up here, and then draw a y component up to 4. And notice that I'm plotting these from tip to tail. And now what I'm going to do is draw a resultant vector, which is going to be the vector that we're trying to plot. So that's the vector plotted. But what I want to do is determine this vector's length. So what I'm going to do for this is bring back the x and y components. Because notice here that we form a right triangle, where this, this little length here is 3, and then the height is 4. So what I can do is use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the length of this vector, which is the hypotenuse. So this is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, although I'm going to change it to fit the, these units up here. So we're going to have the component of x squared plus the component of y squared equals the length of our vector. Now if I square root both sides of the expression, that gets the square on the right side to cancel, leaving me with this equation for the length of our vector. So all I need to do is take 3 and 4 and plug it in. Well in this case I'll put it in this order, but it really doesn't matter what order you plug them in. You'll end up with 5. So 5 units long is the length of your vector and is the vector magnitude for this problem.